the lighter point will be the topper one if you had the light from here imagine that you have a light from here this part will be the lighter one hello everyone i'm daniel here and today we are going to talk about shedding on pixel art so let's get started first of all i will create a basic um, elements like a cube a sphere and a pyramid let's just draw the cube first and then i will explain you uh, everything to you so basic cube one two three five two three four five for me it's the easiest way to, to do it so let's do four five so just grab here the line to be easier to do this part here and this part here so let's talk about first about our cube so uh, shadow uh, depending on the, the light that you are adding to your character or environment wherever I will just show you, sorry, show you how to do uh, the imagine that the light that we are getting is from this position right so what we are going to do is this part that is not receiving any light it will be the darker one okay this part here it will be darker because there's no light here imagine that that you are receiving the light here and sorry like the shadow of the cube right so imagine that imagine that you are having here the shadow of the cube so you already know that this uh, side of the cube it will be darker so, and the side that will receive the most light it will be this one and of course the side that we don't see so for the top side we're going to add a little bit lighter here let me just grab the paint bucket this this side will be the lighter one so now we are going to grab some color in between and this not so light of course because it's not receiving that much of a light and as you can see we have our light coming from the top right this is our sort of lamp imagine or the sun whatever you want it to call it and the, the light source is putting light from this both sides so this and the top one and the right one will be the the lighter side the side this side on the left will be the, the darker one and this it will be on the mid term now I will just add some colors okay uh, doesn't matter but as you can see and I believe now you are understanding at least the basics that it depending on the, the light that you are adding for example if you had this light on this side of course this is will change this one will be light this one and this one those two sides will be lighter this one that we don't see will be darker and this our in our front will be the same color if you had the light for example in front this one now be, will be the lighter one this will be uh, a little bit darker those two and then the back one will be the darker one so for the now let's just grab a sphere and do the same process just add here a small sphere okay the process will be basically the same so let me just grab and zoom it a little bit because to be easier for you guys to see and for me to work so uh, with the spheres I will <laughs> not tell you guys I'm not perfect 
I'm doing the shadowing, but it's just for you guys to understand how to do it. It's just like this, sort of. Of course, it's not perfect, it's not a perfect shadow. So, lighter, a little bit darker, and of course the bottom will be even darker. Okay, it's not perfect, but I, I believe that you understand the point. We have our light coming from here, sort of. So having the light from here, and you will see that the lighter point will be the topper one if you had the light from here. Imagine that you have a light from here. This part will be the lighter one. So it depends again, depending on what you are adding, um, what effect you want on your object, it will be uh, depending on the light that you are adding. So for the parameter, it will be basically the same. I will show what I have already had done. So for the parameter, I, I did it in two ways. I just made a triangle and then split it a little bit and as you can see almost give the effect the pyramid effect as well or you can create a pyramid like this and then split it and create this shadowing effect as well uh, in, in this case you only have two effects on both of them because uh, you are going to see only two parts of the pyramid itself and I believe uh, that's it regarding uh, shadows. Uh, if you have any doubts or uh, anything to like to, to add on the shadowing, just leave a comment. If you like what I've been doing until now, give a like. And uh, if you want more things, subscribe and uh, add the notification bell for res to receive uh, more videos like this one. Hope you enjoy and see you next video.